got a letter in the mail saying from Tyler Thompson. Tyler Thompson was the coach back then. And like, I got this letter being like, oh, go up to your room where no one's around you and read this letter. And I read it and I was like, Minnesota. I was like, what? So then it comes the summer of when I was becoming a senior in high school. So that's when colleges can talk to you and you could talk to them. And so it was National Clay Courts. So they have this huge college booth station set up. And so I made an appointment with Minnesota. And from there, we set up an official visit. I loved it. When I was a volunteer coach, um, Jessica came on her recruiting trip with her mom. And I think it was during our Gopher Invitational. So um, really got to know her and her mom really well. Just such a great family. I called back Minnesota a day after he kind of gave me the deadline. I was like, I'm so sorry, like I, I really want to go to your school. And he was like, you know, like now we don't have any scholarships for you. And I was like, I don't care, I love the school. She got a lot of offers actually from a lot of good schools, full ride, and uh, but she was so impressed when she came here to visit. I met the players here that, uh, that nothing, nobody could convince her that this wasn't the place for her. She turned down a lot of scholarships to other schools and say, this is where I'm going, this is where I, w I think I belong. When I was flying out for orientation in June, he calls me, he's like, oh, I have some bad news. I'm actually, Tyler did, he's like, I'm actually transferring. She was just probably just figuring out, okay, I have a new coach. And, you know, I was recruited by another coach and the situation obviously just changes pretty quickly. And I kind of panicked because I was like, I chose the school. A big reason why I chose the school was because of the coaching staff. For me, you know, I go, all right, here's my team. And I get a chance to, you know, we have a, a walk on from Colorado and Jess and let's, you know, let's see how good she is. I was really excited when she decided to come. Um, I, she was a great person, like on her visit, I could see that. So I was like, she'll fit in great with the team, be a great teammate. So she decided to walk on, and her freshman year she did awesome. I just knew she was very good, and so I assumed that she had a scholarship. And then I remember someone told me that she, she was a walk on and that she didn't have a scholarship. Jessica just got better every single day. You know, the level got better. And then in the back of my head I was thinking, you know, oh no, like, I guess the deal's kind of off with the scholarship. As the season went on, and Whitney and I were like, hey, Jess is beating kids that I would give scholarship to. She beat Nebraska, who was at that time was top 20 in the country. Obviously, it was the right thing to do. Coach calls me into his office the next day once we get back from traveling, and I was thinking he was gonna be like, oh, like, it's okay, keep your head up high, you're having a great season. And it turns out he offered me a scholarship, and I was like, what? Chuck and I were together and I mean she was just so thrilled, excited, you know, and again she she really earned it. I instantly called my parents. I was like, you will not believe what happened. And they're like, what? And then they're like, oh no, like is coach gonna bump you down in the lineup because you lost? Like, well, I was like, no, he offered me a scholarship. I had no doubt about it. You know, I told her, congratulations, hard work pays off, and uh, you know, your dedication and love of the game pays off. She was really working hard all year to, to prove herself. I think it was just a validation of that hard work. Jessica's a well-rounded human being. I mean, just she's not just a tennis player. I mean, she's talented uh, beyond her tennis. So when she's doing things off the court, like she's not gonna be like, oh yeah, I did this, I did that. She just kind of does it. Jessica is the type, she, she's so level-headed, you know, even with all the potentials that she's got and the gifts that she's got and her abilities on the court, you never know. I do know she plays the violin, but I haven't heard her play yet, so I'm excited to, to listen to some of her music. She wanted something to supplement the tennis, and she just fell in love with it. She went to the assembly hall, saw some of her friends play, and she just came home one day and said, look, I want to do this. I know I can be good at it. 
Not too many people know I play the violin. I actually did it competitively, so I competed in competitions. I did honors, I did a lot of recitals. My violin is out in Minnesota with me right now. To this day, I still play and I love it. I didn't know Jessica coached wheelchair tennis, but it doesn't surprise me at all. She's just such a caring person and to go home in the summer and do things like wheelchair tennis and coach younger kids, it just fits with her personality. She really likes giving back to the community and she quickly learned to play wheelchair tennis herself. And uh, she just, she's been doing it for about seven years now. You know, you get those general stereotypes like, oh, she just plays tennis. Like, no, I'm way more than just a tennis player. I just wanna like say how impressive it is what, every, what Jessica has done through all of these years. She knows where she wants to go. For every plan, she's got an alternate plan. She does the same on the tennis court. I still have my violin skills. And regardless, you can always go out and help. There's nothing wrong with finding organizations to help with. And so, yeah, like, it's definitely shaped me into a person who I am today. Like, if tennis doesn't work out, I have all these other activities and hobbies that I am interested in. You know, it's just been an honor to be around her, a pleasure to coach her, get to know her and her family, and, you know, it's just been, it's been a great ride with uh, Jess.